What's up guys? Just want to make a quick video on this tool I found out. Honestly, this tool is super old and I think a lot of people made a videos on it. Uh, but I just want to make a video on Garage 61. Uh, it's pretty much like an app where you can analyze your laps. And for me personally, it's helped a lot in terms of figuring out what I need to do to get more time um, for my laps. So essentially when you're doing training, when you're practicing, you're a lot of people they're just going and doing laps and laps and laps but you're not really like trying to figure out where to actually get the time from or you might not even see where the time is coming from but this tool makes it a little bit easier to see exactly what the best drivers are doing and then you can copy it to yours uh so yeah we're gonna this is the garage 61 website um i already have loaded up but essentially what you want to do is you come in here uh, you're gonna pick a lap that you did you can pick any lap you can go to your previous races or your practice sessions i already have one pulled up right here so i'm just gonna hit analyze fastest lap on it and i'm gonna hit this right here and let me take out one of these so i have a um, pretty fast lap here from leo osh whatever this guy's name is and he's about three seconds faster. So I'm not saying I'm the fastest person here, but I'm saying this is a good tool for people to use um, just to, you know, uh, help improve their racing. Uh, so yeah, so main thing I like about this is you can break it down into different uh, sectors. So a lot of apps, they use three sectors, but this one can do all the way to six or more, I think. So you can, if you click on S1 right here, it's gonna break it down. And it's also, um, as you scroll down on all the traces on the right side, it's going to show where you are on the track. So it just gives you a better visual idea of what's going on with your car. Uh, so on the left side, you see it has these two colored squares. Um, I'm the red one, he's the blue one. So if you come here, you can compare all of your telemetry between the two drivers. So this one, first one is the speed of your car. Second one is throttle. Uh, third one is your braking trace. Then you have your gear, uh, gears and your RPMs right here. And then the last one is your steering wheel angle. So for example, let's say we're analyzing this sector here. So at the beginning of the uh, corner, I'm actually gaining, I actually have four miles per hour uh, speed advantage over him. But as we go into the braking zone, he does carry a lot more minimum speed, especially around the apex. <clears throat> and he has about, let's see uh, nine more nine more miles and then we pretty much minimize uh, maximize the same speed at the apex and then he does gain a little bit of time here and then after when we're exiting uh, NASCAR bend he does carry a significant miles per hour advantage so this is where most likely I'm losing a lot of time um, definitely losing a little bit of time maybe one or two tenths here but this is where I'm missing majority of the time because you can see where the speed differences are and also the way he's shifting his gears is completely different uh he's doing it a little bit later it looks like he's also breaking a little bit later than me by at least five or six meters or more and as you can see my braking trace is not the best right now uh his trail braking is much smoother so he's breaking a little bit later he's um carrying a lot more speed and then he's smoothly dying it out he's also shifting the gears a little bit later than me and let's see he does keep it in the same gear as me second gear um and then after that's pretty much the same i do shift my gears a little bit more than i should according to this braking trace um but yeah and then also we can also look at the rpms um yeah i'm gonna have my rpms a little bit higher than his not really sure why honestly uh, coming to the corner and then this is all the downshifts and then let's see he does have a little bit more rpm he does get on the throttle a little bit faster than me so his rpm is a little bit higher here and then here let's see where is this so here i actually uh went off throttle here which is why my rpms are going down uh let's see four to fifth Oh, it's also because I shifted up. He held the same gear, so which is why his RPM stay the same. So, as you can see, when I'm scrolling along this, 
if you pay attention to the the map it will show you where the car is so here is when i shift it up where i should have actually held the the gears uh so that allowed him to maintain more speed throughout the corner and then also his steering he did use a little bit more steering than me maybe 20 more degrees coming into the bend right here which could have helped a lot honestly and also you can uh, zoom in to here and you can see the exact line he's taking so first corner he's pretty much the same line almost exactly the same line but here he is using a little bit more of this um, outside area and then he's diving more into the middle so it's it's uh earlier turning and then let's see yeah after that it's pretty much the same line all the way to the s curves but yeah um this tool that was the main thing i want to show you guys uh the main thing that i would do with this is look at what the differences are write it down on a piece of paper or notepad wherever you want and then go into the simulator and actually try to pretty much implement the changes you see the differences so try to match your braking with what the fastest people are doing and try to analyze it uh keep keep going back to this tool um i'll put a link to this tool in the description below as well if you guys want to check it out and yeah that's pretty much it that's wanted to show you guys this tool um hopefully it helps um if you guys have any questions you can always hit me up or if you want to race i'm here uh, but yeah that's it peace